Hi guys, this is Matthias, and in this video I'd like to share some of my experiences so far using the German fighters. And most importantly, or most specifically I would say, we're going to take a look at the two wing mounted rockets that you can upgrade either one of these two fighters with. Now for obvious reasons these rockets are designed for air to ground, but for a variety of different reasons I actually use them more against bombers. And initially I thought it would be a lot harder to use them, but it doesn't take all that long before you learn how to lead with them, because normally you have to lead a little bit, you can't just put your aim directly on target unless you are following straight behind a bomber or another plane, and said plane is flying straight forward. Now to be fair though, there's nothing unusual with a bomber flying straight forward if you're chasing it, because most bombers today will seat switch. Now many times, both for air to air and air to ground, it can be a little bit hard to get both of those rockets on target. There is a bit of a delay between the first and the second shot, and since they're mounted on the wings, they are a bit apart when you fire them, so they will land a bit apart as well. Now for the most part, since you can only carry two of these rockets, I don't really gamble with them. I take what I consider relatively safe shots, and I try to make them count. So yeah, obviously one of the best uses of these rockets is to counter your nemesis, the anti-air. Of course the biggest problem with anti-air in this game is to be able to see it. So I really can't stretch enough the importance of memorizing where those stationary anti-air cannons are located on each individual map. Now this is Twisted Steel and this is the anti-air on A. <laughs> So yeah, no matter what target, I try to make them count, but there are actually a few exceptions. When you resupply, you resupply fast and you resupply everything in the plane. That includes these two rockets, and since it's very common that even if you're chasing a plane, that, that chased plane is going to fly through those resupply stations, if, if you call them that, meaning that you will do the same thing if the chase goes on that long. And then there's no reason to hold back on using your rockets, because you're gonna get new ones in just a second. Oh, those rockets are good. They're good for dogfighting. Eh? Not dogfighting per se, but in some in some situations. I have to repair that broken wing though. So yeah, that was actually another one of those examples of gambling a little bit. And notice how I fired one rocket at a time instead of trying to fire them as close together as possible, which is what I do in basically every other situation in this video. And the reason why I did that was that I was very uncertain on whether or not I was going to hit that plane with any of the rockets. Oh yeah, baby! Loving that kill feed. So yeah, when you're chasing a bomber, wait for the right opportunity. He's either going to seat switch, and that's when you have your moment, or the bomber pilot might be forced to fly in a very predictable way because of the environment. Now 
Now some of you guys might be wondering, what about the other rockets, the ones for the Spitfire? Well, they serve a completely different purpose in my opinion, and I thought initially that they would be quite similar, but my experience of shooting bombers with them is that they don't do anyway near the same amount of damage. Now it's possible that I'm just completely wrong about that, but with my main Spitfire I don't even have rockets to begin with, and for the most part I use a completely different approach when I'm on the Allied side. Now this video contains of a number of these types of examples, and I decided to mainly focus on air-to-air -air in this particular video. However, there's gonna be a few air-to-ground situations, and keep in mind, if you're able to spot an enemy tank with any of the fighters that have the rockets, and that goes even for the Spitfires, then you should definitely use your rockets against said tank. Now you may not kill it in one strafe, especially not if it's at full HP, but I wouldn't hesitate a second to fire my rockets against any tank that I can spot, and a surprising amount of those tanks have actually been killed from that one and only strafe. It is of course also quite common that the reason I was able to spot that tank in the first place is because it was in combat with some of my teammates. So yeah, I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video, my name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. Holy moly!
Objective Dora! 